morning, Grant Bingham here, Bingham Equipment. I'm with Scott Wangsgard. He's New Holland's hay and forage specialist. Scott's gonna give us a walk around on the brand new, only in Arizona right now, New Holland High Density Baler. Yep. Scott? So the first thing I wanna show you is the uh, hydraulic suspension and the uh, accessibility of the baler. So I'm gonna have uh, Forrest go ahead and raise up the, the baler the hydraulic suspension, you can see how high that goes. I can also... So with that in this position, you can see the accessibility and how easy it is for a, a guy to get under under here and, and take a look at that or re-thread the knotters or anything you might have to do. So, with the high density baler, any high density baler, it's really tough to get started. But with the New Holland high density baler, what we've got is a two speed smart shift gearbox. So you're gonna see this go through a startup procedure. We get the flywheel rolling, and then we get it up to full RPMs. It's two, it starts in first gear and then shifts up into second. I've got the shields uh, removed right now, but make sure you don't do this with the, the hood open normally. So, starts, but the baler hasn't started yet. We have to rev the engine up to 850 PTL RPMs, and then it starts to engage. So it's not dead against the bale. So now we have a running start to get that baler going before it hits the bale again. Uh, what's the service interval on the gearbox? You know what? Like annually. Annually. Annually is going to be change that oil. Pretty about a once a year. Yeah. Bring it in for one row. Yeah. The automatic greaser on all these points takes care of most of the grease on the whole baler uh -huh. on a daily service. There's only four greasers that I have to hit. Two here on this one and then one up in there and then two up on the knot. There's four of them. So this panel doesn't need to come up. Yeah. Nothing underneath. No, it's right here. Yeah. Just a couple minutes. Yeah. Yeah. Now this is, you know, being a roto feed baler, uh, it's, it's counterintuitive, but the way New Holland designed the roto feed baler, it actually has fewer components yes. versus competitive rotor feed bailers, right? Yeah, so I've got a rotor. Let's get this out of the way. Really, the only moving part I have right here is this bearing. Uh -huh. The rotor sitting on that bearing. I don't have a packer. Uh -huh. The packer and all that oscillation, oscillating motion is, is eliminated, mm -hmm. simplified. Now, I don't have to run knives. The knife drawer is right here. I can swing that out and get the take the knives out and put them in. But I can run blanks in instead of knives and I'm not cutting the material. And it, it's gonna just feed it up into that stuffer chamber. Now I noticed the frame on this one's yellow compared to previous bailers, they've had the black frame. What what am I seeing that's different about this frame compared to previous ones? I mean, with the HD baler, it's a completely new frame. I mean, the, the extra weight, this thing weighs 32,000 pounds, so it's a heavy baler. Part of that is the new strength that we put in the frame. Now, we did paint it yellow because of just the way it makes things stand out. The, the visibility is a lot better on yellow than it is on black. I see. So from just a maintenance, you know, be able to pop the hood, get a feel for how everything is looking. Yeah. Yellow it just makes Yellow it easier. Gives, and then any of the moving parts are going to be black, which is a sharp contrast between the yellow. 
so the, the purpose of the hydraulic suspension is mainly for drive, right? For how is the hydraulic suspension, what's it going to do for me in the field? Well, I mean, just the, being able to oscillate hydraulically, as we get heavier and heavier equipment, you see a lot of manure tankers that are going to be riding on that hydraulic suspension. And that's what we get with this one, is the nice ride of the hydraulics, being able to go back and forth in between the front and rear tires, that oscillation is hydraulic now. And kind of a secondary benefit is the ability to lift it up. To lift it up and get the accessibility. I mean, you're a pretty tall guy, Brandon, but you can fit under there without even Thanks. hardly bend it over. Well, that is. It's plenty of real time. better than crawling in on your belly and yeah. getting in there. Good place to have lunch too. Yeah. Uh, you know what else I thought was really cool with some of the uh, info that you shared is that there's actually seven cylinders on the bale chamber to yeah. assist with that density. Yeah, we've got two on each side. And then also up along the top, we got three along the top. Okay, so we got three up top and two on each side. And that, these are double acting cylinders. Uh huh. So they're not only pushing in, but we can pull those out if we need to. So like when we want to eject the bale, we actually use the hydraulics to pull those away. Or if we're in challenging density conditions, we can use the electronics to go both in and out. Now you wouldn't ever operate it like this because if you can see that bell chamber's pretty high, you'd be starting to stand the bells up on their end, but um, this isn't where you would operate it. Not that it would hurt the baler at all, but that's just a long ways to drop the bale. It looks pretty impressive when it's that high. This is for the... This one has air brakes. Oh, it does? Okay. Yeah, but most of them won't have air brakes. Uh, hydraulic brakes would be standard. Okay. Um, standard? Well, that we option. But with 32,000 pounds, uh -huh. brakes is a pretty good idea. You know, we've been seeing that more. Uh, so, trailer brake valves is something that we're putting on the tractors of this category yeah. that we're ordering now. Because you you can amass quite a, a train yeah. of bailing equipment these days. And any tractor that's running 30 miles an hour comes standard with hydraulic brakes. Okay. Because any anything that's at 50 kph. Uh -huh. Has, has to have hydraulic brakes. Yeah, that's something we're always talking about. So if anyone out there has an opinion on whether we should get tractors with road gear, maybe drop us a note on the comments there. Because we're always looking at that going, should we get high speed transmission or not? Right. You know, I, I think we could use it, but get mixed feedback. Yeah, just depends on how far you're traveling. Yeah. So, but this is part of the comfort pack. It's nice when you get a little dust on your hands and you just wash, wash that off. Is that like dessert? Like you guys get like a certain percentage from so many no, I comfort wish. packs? I wish, but I love <laughs> I, that. I, of all the bailing equipment, I always hear so much about the comfort pack. And yeah. it's like, oh, that's great. I wash my hands. I just always wonder yeah. if it was like dessert. I've maybe. always thought it was kind of cheesy to begin with, but now that I start I start using it, because whenever you do anything on this bailer, your hands get dirty. Yeah, and then you, know. you jump back in your clean tractor, and you just rinse them off real quick. I need to put a towel holder on the side of it too. Little uh, soap dispenser <laughs> yeah, soap too. This is uh, this baler was made for uh, 2020. That's right. This is uh, this is a pandemic. Yeah, yeah, I mean even just the the torque tube right there coming across where that gearbox fastens on there. Yeah. Uh, we're really, we're hanging it from that beam rather than supporting it like on the bus baler. We support it. Everybody else supported it from the bottom. We hang it from that, which gives us more. When you think about it, when that plunger is really pushing, yeah. we're pushing right into that thing, rather than hanging it from the bottom. We have a support at the bottom, but it's actually hanging from the top. Little jujitsu. Yeah. The whole tongue design is yeah. completely different. Why? Why are we seeing such a different uh, redesign on the, on the tongue? What we're looking at too is it's. I think of it more of a, like a trellis design, right? This is or even tillage equipment. You see the similar equipment similar type of drum with tillage equipment. But then I have the ability to adjust it for any any tractor drop off. Right. So the ability to turn those turnbuckles and adjust it right where we need to be. Rather than just hold where we've had in the past and just 
get it fairly close. This, yeah. is, this could be more of an exact. So it's a, the height, the angle of the bailer is adjusted by a turn button. Right, well, think about it because I've got the hydraulic suspension too, right? So I can change wow. the height there, but depending on what height I want to run there, I need to uh, get So it's a combination of both cool. the hydraulics and this to make the, the yeah. paler height. And I like that. It, that takes out so much of the hassle on switching your tractor when you got to get the air gun out and yeah. start, you know, messing it up. Yeah, uh, that's great. great. Also with the hydraulic jack, right? Because I can put the hydraulic jack down and that's yeah. Awesome. yeah, yeah. Now, is that a standard deal on? Standard on the H. Standard on the H. Yeah. I wouldn't want to crank this thing up by hand. 